Wheels are a great upgrade for your bike. They can make a big difference to the performance of your bike, especially when it comes to the weight of them. Newer wheels, well, they're almost certainly gonna be lighter than the stock wheels that come on your bike, but does a lighter wheel make your bike faster? Today, we're gonna try and find out. We're gonna put a couple of different sets of wheels against each other and see if that lighter wheel set really does improve performance. Today, we're gonna to be running, well, a few not so scientific tests, but they will be regulated, they'll be fair. We have got a few runs planned out up and down with two different wheel sets, but the same tires on each. And to keep it exactly fair, we're gonna be running the same pressures front and back for every single test. And we've actually got inner tubes in these this time, not tubeless. However, you could also do this tubeless as well. Shouldn't really make too much difference because we're actually looking at wheel weight, not the tires and tubeless sealant. Our wheel sets of choice then. Now we're sponsored by E13 here at the channel and our first heavyweight bruiser of a wheel set is this the E13 LG1 Plus aluminium wheel set, coming in at a fairly portly 1900 grams, shall we say. That is going to be going up against the incredibly svelte 1350 gram XCX24 wheel set from the Carbon Race wheel set, coming in, like I said, 1350 grams. So, I mean, that's as light as air, isn't it? You can basically blow them away. Now, to keep things fair, like I said, we're gonna be using the same tires, Vittoria Martellos, 2.35 in their graphene casing, and they will be run at the same pressure the whole time. Our three tests then, what are they? Well, first up, we're going to do a flow trail descent. Now, this is all gonna be about keeping speed and momentum and having a bit of fun along the way. Second up, we're gonna do a fire road ascent. Now, the lighter wheels, well, they should accelerate and get up it quicker here, right? We'll find out. Finally, a fire road descent. Now, this is all gonna be about getting up to speed. And again, the lighter wheels, well, they should roll out a little bit quicker and get there first. But there's only one way to find out, and I think that's with our first test, flow trail descent. This test is designed to test a few things. So rolling resistance, the flow of the bike, how it changes direction, how it feels when riding. Which wheel set's gonna work best here? I'm not really sure. Whether we're gonna have a more planted wheel set on the heavier one, or that light one's gonna be nice and flickable all the way through. Only time will tell. I'm gonna get a couple of good cranks off the start line, but then after that, there is no pedaling. So it's all about pick and speed and hold and speed. Let's find Two, out. Two, one, go. <sighs> the time. You're going to have to wait to see what the time is so we get the next set of wheels in. Fire road descending time then. Now it may not sound like the most elaborate, fun, exciting thing out there, but blasting fire roads can be fun. And I've set up a test here where I've got my starting marker stone here, 300 meters down there, way, way down the fire road there is my finishing stone. And we're going to see which is fastest unassisted to get there. Now, I'm not gonna pedal, I'm just gonna sit on my bike and roll. I know, like I said, doesn't sound the most exciting, but in theory, the heavier wheel should get there first, shouldn't it? Well, it's on, so let's find out. Uno, dos, tres. No, oh, blimey. <laughs> And there we go, it may not have been exciting, but that was 300 meters in. You're gonna have to wait again, but we need to do some climbing now. So I'm gonna go further down this fire road and head back up it. Now, 
Here is where you would have thought the lighter wheel set would make such a difference, because, I mean, that's what everyone thinks of, isn't it? Weight, uphill, climbing, wheels, you can save a lot of weight there, but will it make a difference? Well, again, we're gonna go up, we've got about half a K climb, and to try and make it fair and equal again, I've double checked my tire pressures, everything's still the same, I'm gonna use my power meter to average about 300 to 320 watts the entire way up. Now, there's only one way to find out again, the larger wheels are on at the moment, so let's three, two, one, go. All right, sitting down the whole way. There's our power and 300 watts engaged. Bob on, rock's in sight. Come on, rock. What's the time gonna be? Okay, there we go. Time's in the bank. But you're gonna have to wait and find out. Let's get them lighter wheels on, I think. <laughs> okay, we've had our lunch. I've changed the wheels over, so we're on the skinny wheels now, the XCX24s. Lightweight carbon XC wheels, tires are on, pressures are the same. Top of our flowy downhill section. I've already set a run time, remember, so let's go race that. I mean, it's not long, but it's tough. But anyway, let's go find somewhere a bit quieter and check out the results. Flow trail downhill done and dusted then. The times are in and it's blooming tight, I can tell you that. So I've just done a run, the lightweight wheels, they came in at a 58.6 seconds over the 0.6 kilometer bit of trail we had. The heavier wheels of the pair. Are you ready for this? Because it's close. 59.1 seconds, so barely anything in it. A whisker, if you like. Just half a second between the two. So the time between them may be negligible on such a short section of trail. Obviously expand that over a day's ride. Well, then that could make a big bit of difference. But let's focus on this for the moment. The ride feel was very, very different. These lighter weight wheels, they're 24 mil internally. That made the tire profile much more rounded. The pressures were the same, but the ride was a lot more skittish. It didn't bite into the turns and it didn't feel quite as stable when cornering and pushing it hard as well. It popped and moved around nicely, but yeah, it just didn't have that stability underfoot that the wider, heavier wheel set had. The heavier wheels, they had a 30 mil internal width. Now what that did is brought the tire essentially out from the bottom, giving a much broader footprint. It felt more stable at speed and bit into the turns a lot better and it was noticeable as well. You could see visibly the difference between the two. If it was up to me, between the two it's tight, but I would actually probably go for, on my trail bike, the lighter weight wheels for their poppy and playful feel. If you are doing big mountain stuff, then the burlier wheels, they're gonna be the one for you. Fire road rolling challenge test number two then. Narrow wheels are on, pressure is again the same. I'm gonna sound like a broken record there repeating that, but I wanna make sure that you guys know that everything is the same. And I think it's time we dropped in. It's not the most exciting, but it is science. I'm sciencing right now. Three, two, one, go. Oh, and we're off. Oh. Okay, that was interesting. So, the times are in. That run then on the lighter wheels was 10.4 seconds. I noticed off the line very, very slow. The heavier wheel set, 8.8, .8, so 1.4 seconds quicker over only 300 meters on a fire road descent, proving that basically off the line, I think they're both the same, but with the extra wheel weight, it just got up to speed a lot quicker. So when you think of that on such a short descent, if you were to extrapolate that and put it on a really big long downhill run, well, you're gonna carry a lot more speed through. So heavier wheels definitely take that one on the speed front.
second run then of the fire road climb and probably the test that people are going to find this the most interesting on or where this wheel weight debate could be settled as obviously a lighter set of wheels should go up here a lot quicker it should be more effort free maintaining that sort of 300 to 320 watt power average but will it who knows there's only one way to find out and i think that's for me to get going so ready three two one go and we're off seat up everything the same up to power there she goes right let's crack on come on maintaining that power Here we go, my breath. Right, some real big things to note on that one. And some interesting times. So, the heavier wheel set, 37 seconds up there. Hang on. That then, the lighter wheel set, 32. That's insanely quicker over such a short amount of time and a short distance. Five seconds faster for the lighter wheel set. Basically, the huge weight saving was quicker off the line. It rolled faster once you were going and accelerated faster once you're up to speed and things like that. Because it gave you that more rounded tire profile as well, there was less drag. So actually, the effort was maybe the same, not the wattage, but the heart rate. Because uh, obviously it's a little bit later in the day, you know, we've been filming all day, but five seconds faster. Well, the proof's in the pudding there. I would definitely go for these on my XC bike all day, every day. That's it then for lightweight versus heavyweight wheels. It's been an actually pretty interesting day and thrown up some really interesting results. I think you'll agree. But you know what? I've got a few bonus bits for you actually to throw in at the end here. Whilst the lightweight wheels are very good and they're probably what I would choose, it's well worth thinking about what kind of riding you do the most and your riding style. If you're a fairly heavyweight rider or you're riding real gnarly, rocky ground all the time, then these wheels, well, they may not hold up for as long as you'd hope because they're not designed for it. Again, the big heavier wheels or the burlier wheels if you like if you're putting in big long all-day epics well you're probably going to want something that rolls a little bit quicker and is going to make your life easier in the long haul so just bear that in mind when you are choosing your next wheel set do you go light do you go heavy what is the purpose you're going to put them through but i'm going to stop blabbering on thank you very much for watching everybody it's been a blast i will catch you next time happy riding and toodle pip